Many people go under the knife to get that perfect swimsuit body, but you may be surprised by the latest generation choosing to enhance their body. Here's NBC's Aditi Roy. Are you ready? Are you ready? Sherry Cook is getting a breast lift, breast implants, and a morale boost. I always tell my husband, I think older women all end up looking like oatmeal boxes or matchsticks. And I don't want to look like either one of those. Oh, there's where that is. At 75 years old, Sherry wants to stop the progression towards the so-called oatmeal box. So she's spending two hours in the operating room, all to have lighter and perkier breasts. Why the implants? Are too because, honey, they're not going to look good without them. <laughs> That's, you know, the, the whole thing about looking as good as you can, as long as you can. Sherry is not alone. According to the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, last year 85,000 people 65 or older went under the knife. Doctors say the reasons aren't all that different from those of younger patients. They'll come in and say, you know, I, I take off my clothes and I mean, I, that's not me. I mean, it's not me anymore. And so can you help me? So, Dr. Michael Nicoli is Sherry's plastic surgeon. He says in the last five years, more seniors than ever before are coming into his clinic. And it's not just for facelifts or chemical peels. Now they're moving on more towards body contouring with breast lifts, tummy tucks. Abby Ellen, a writer for the New York Times, recently reported on seniors and plastic surgery. I found this all over the country. I found this in California. I found this in Florida. I found this in New York. No matter where they are geographically, Seniors these days, according to some, are emotionally in a different place. Our seniors are getting divorced, they're dating, they're competing in sports. Why not have the plastic surgery to go along with how young they feel inside? Patients must get medical clearance before surgery. But according to Dr. Nicoli, that doesn't mean greater health risks. Recovery time is also the same. Why are you doing an 80-year-old? Well, then my response is, why not? Oh my gosh, I'm not a kid. You know, it, I'm not going to look like I did then. I want to still have a shape. Yeah. Sherry embraces her 75 years. But in the sunset okay. of her life, she just wants to look as good on the outside as she feels on the inside. That's a good girl. For today, Aditi Roy, NBC News, Los Angeles. Dr. Michael Saltzauer is a Miami-based board-certified plastic surgeon, and Vivian Diller is a clinical psychologist and an expert on aging and beauty. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Do Doctor, is this, is this a broad trend, or is this sort of anecdotal here and there? No, absolutely. You know, because of advances in health care, Americans are living longer, healthier, more active lives. And they, like the lady on the tape said, they want to look as good as they feel. Yeah. So when they come into you, what do they say? What are their, what's their motivation? Well, their motivation is that when they look in the mirror, just as the doctor said, they don't see the person that they feel they are inside. They feel they're looking older. Their bodies are heading south, so to speak. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and pla they're, 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 they're asking for help. Yeah. Is it, is it because they want to date and look good? Or they want to look good at the office and look younger? How do, what's there the are a variety of reasons that singers choose to have plastic surgery. And it's very important that as a surgeon, I delve into those aspects and find out exactly why. They can vary from, you know, a, wid a widow, uh, a person who's divorced, who's out there trying to date and attract a spouse or a mate. Or um, an, old, an aging salesman, uh, senior, who wants to compete with younger salesmen and stay in the workforce longer. Mm. So there are a variety of reasons why people have plastic surgery after age 65. It sort of flies in the face of aging gracefully, doesn't it? I mean, how much do you worry about the, the psychological impact of all of this? Very important uh, issues. I mean, the positive side of this is that people are living longer. They want to live that life passionately, robustly. They want to uh, feel as good as they look. You know, that saying that 50 is the new you know, 30. And I don't know if that's so true, but we do have to ask this important question. Is it in the best interest of this patient? We don't know yet. The, the jury is out. The uh, data is not in yet for what it really means to somebody in their 70 and 80 to get this surgery. Will it actually give them what they're hoping to achieve? Right. And we should point out, this is, I mean, we're talking some major surgery here, right? Sure, sure. And it's important to remember the difference between chronological age and physiological age. 
So someone in their 70s who's lived a healthy life and is still very active can have no greater risk for surgery than someone in their 40s. Um, under similar circumstances. On the other hand, someone who, who just have, has poor genetics or poor health habits, et cetera, might not, be, might, might not ever be a candidate so for plastic surgery. is there surgery. a limit to, uh, is there an age limit in which you say, look, I'm just not, I'm not doing this procedure for I you, think I'm sorry. I think what you have to consider is the fact that recovery time is a little longer. Uh, how, uh, how will this impact their life for how long? Uh, are the risks worth it? You know, sometimes one surgery results in another desire for more surgery. You get your breast enhanced and then your neck doesn't look so good. You know, that's a question we have to ask when you're in your 70s right. and 80s. That's different. But, when but, but how old is how old? Really? Well, you know, age is just a number and it depends on the procedure that you're going to have. I've operated on 91 year old people who are very, very active and very healthy under conscious sedation, doing an eye lift, for example, or a, or, or a neck lift or a facelift. On the other hand, a tummy tuck or a breast lift operation is much more invasive, and therefore they have to be in better shape for that. Yeah, recovery yeah. time is a little longer when a little you're, longer, when you're sure. 100. And, and, and as, like I said before, every patient has to be considered individually, both psychologically and physiologically. Mm, that's interesting, and it's a good debate. Uh, Dr. Saltzhauer, thank you, and Vivian Diller.